Hey everyone, I'm really concerned with what I call the Raiders over the hill gang strategy. That is a nod to the Washington Redskins free agency strategy of the mid 70s, actually the slightly early 70s, 1973, when George Allen got older NFL players like Jack Pardee at linebacker and Billy Kilmer at quarterback and Paul Warfield at wide receiver, guys who were older than the NFL norm and took them all the way to a Super Bowl that they lost to the then perfect Miami Dolphins. But today is a different game and it comes at a time when the Seattle Seahawks posted one of the youngest squads ever to win a Super Bowl and they did it with rapid and fast defenders who can hit. That set the tone to me for the type of free agency where you go after players like for example the Texans Eric, Aaron Mitchell or Mike Neal with the Green Bay Packers or Brandon Spikes who was put on free agency actually released by the New England Patriots guys who are about 27 years old or younger who still have an upside but are not so heavily valued by their team that they're going to fight they're going to you know fight to keep them it's then they're going to turn around and say oh, we let that guy get away and then that person plays the Packers didn't do that with respect to Mike Neal though they turn around and they sign him the Raiders should have gotten him that should have been their first priority instead now they're still looking for outside linebackers who are older so I'm not really excited about this Raider free agency as much as others are because I'm not enamored by names anymore. I'm enamored by numerical performance and age and upside. You can call me a hard, shrewd general manager type business guy, but you know what? I bet you my squad will win a Super Bowl one day soon. Let's see what this Raider organization does. If it's not, if it doesn't happen this time, it's time for a, re a regime change. You know what I mean.